of Royal Canadian Legion number 73 organized the building of the Cenotaph to honor the fallen soldiers of World War II. Andrew Tom, Len Barnett, Donald Laird, Joseph Doherty, and others combined their skills and produced a unique memorial in the designing and construction. Rock piles along line fences, fields, and streams were searched for just the right rocks. A cast iron box stove was used for the center of the spaces, filled with rocks and adjusted to a square bottom foundation, five feet, six inches. The structure was carefully guided skyward with two layers of rocks and mortar being formed into a nine foot high pyramid, carefully filling in the center while shaping the sides into isosceles triangles. The cenotaph was unveiled November 11, 1947. In 1952 to 53, approximately 20 communities, including New Jerusalem, disappeared when the properties in Queens and Sunbury counties were expropriated for the establishment of what was then called Camp Beach Town. Approximately 650 families were impacted as they had to give up their homes, farms, businesses, schools, churches, and community halls. They resettled in different communities within New Brunswick, elsewhere in Canada, the United States, and further afield. Despite this, every year, many of these families and their descendants continue to return like today, on November 11, for Remembrance Day. Today, we honor our fallen veterans, but also the families of the communities who had to sacrifice their land so that the Canadian Armed Forces members could train and ready to the answer to call. We would now like to invite Mr. Bill Flight to tribute those names on the cenotaph. To commemorate the valor and men and women who went from other communities of base case town to fight in World War I, 1914-1918 perpetuate the memory of those who fell. World War I, Armstrong's Corner, William Smith, Kenneth Williams. Holmes, Thomas Johnston. Fowler's Corner, Alexander McDonald. Olinville, Charles McCutcheon, Ernest McCutcheon. The following New Jerusalem veterans names appear in the cenotaph. Gordon William Bunn, he was born in New Jerusalem, the son of William and Alice Bunn, and attended Polyhurst School. He enlisted in 1941 and served with the North Shore New Brunswick Regiment. He was killed in action during the Battle of Normandy on 8 August 1944 at the age of 28. He is buried in the Canadian War Memorial at Calvados, France. Edward David Elder, he was born in New Jerusalem, the son of John and Annie Elder, and attended Central Jerusalem School. He went overseas in 1942, served with the 4th Canadian Armoured Brigade, and was killed in action during the Battle of Normandy on 14th August 1944 at the age of 27. He is buried in the Canadian War Memorial Cemetery at Calvados, France. Joseph Lambert Hamilton. He was born in New Jerusalem, the son of James and Ella Hamilton, and attended Polyhurst School. He served overseas with the 12th Army Tank Regiment, the Three Rivers Regiment, Royal Canadian Armoured Corps, and was killed in action during the Sicilian Campaign, 21 July 1943, at the age of 24. He is buried in the Agra Canadian War Cemetery in Sicily, Italy. To commemorate the valor and of the men and women who went from the other communities of base case and to fight World War II, 39 to 45, and to perpetuate the memories of those who fell. Armstrong's Corner, William Smith, Robert Gales. Olinville, Albert Elder, Harold Mitchell. The memory of those soldiers who were based at CFE Gaze Town, killed in Afghanistan in 2007. Sergeant Donald Lucas. Corporal Brent Cohn, Corporal Christopher P. Stanix, Corporal Aaron E. Williams, Private David Robert Greenslade, Private Kevin Vincent Kennedy, Master Corporal Alan Stewart, Trooper Patrick James Edwin, Master Corporal Daryl Creed. In memory of those soldiers who were killed at CFP Gatestown, killed in Afghanistan in 2008, Private William Colin William Wilmot. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we shall remember them. 